What's up guys, Penguin Overlord here, and welcome back to Ghost Recon Breakpoint. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how I prefer to take out the Murmur Drones. Now I do farm these quite a bit in Ghost Recon Breakpoint because they are the best way of getting standard and uh, standard weapon parts and improved weapon parts without having to go to the store and buy weapons and disassemble them. That's just a big hassle. I prefer to just take out those drones and um, yeah, I'm just going to go over the strategy real quick of how I do it. So I prefer going out at distance like 200 meters or even farther than that. And I'll generally take them out with a sniper rifle. In this case, I prefer using the M82 because it's a semi-auto 50 caliber sniper rifle. So I can generally take out two drones at once. Um, obviously, I'll go for the damage to drones bonus. And obviously, it's a Mark. I've got upgraded to Mark III. So it's got that passive bonus of 9% damage to drones. Obviously, you can use any sniper rifle you want. Well, I mean, you could use any 50 caliber sniper rifle you want. You could use, like, the uh, HTI or any of the other ones, the TAC-50. Um, I prefer using the M82 because it's semi-auto, so I can usually take out two or maybe even three drones at once if I'm lucky um, without them getting alerted and flying around and making them harder to hit. So I'll generally use the M82. Obviously, nothing's stopping you from using uh, the other 50 caliber sniper rifles. However, I don't really recommend using the other sniper rifles that aren't 50 caliber. That is, they don't do uh, like 167 damage or so. The ones that do much lower damage, because um, it takes it'll generally take two shots to kill, and that's just a waste of time. Even with all the other perks that I'm going to use. Speaking of, let's talk about them. I'll generally use Sensor Hack for that extra 10% damage to drones. And uh, not so much for the drone evasion, but it's nice. Uh, ballistic Advantage for increasing range. That way you don't have to compensate for a bullet drop as much. Um, handling also helps with the recoil, so that's nice. And of course, Rolling Thunder. best One of the best perks in the game. You've got 20% weapon damage when using a sniper rifle. And 20% damage to drones, so basically 40% damage to murmur drones when you're using an M82 or any other sniper rifle. Now I'll also typically use the sharpshooter class, that way you can use the armor buster skill, so that way it will punch through armor and do a little bit more damage, which is nice considering I'm using a suppressed sniper rifle. Sometimes, even with the 50 caliber sniper rifles, I won't get a kill in one shot. It, it depends where I hit them, I guess, because some parts are more armored than others. But um, with the Armor Buster skill, it basically takes them out in one shot, even with a suppressed weapon. Now, I generally don't prefer going at them loud, like with a shotgun, for example, or with really any other weapon. I don't really prefer getting up in, in close quarters and trying to shoot them down. It can work if there aren't as many drones. Like, if there's three drones there, I can usually pull it off. But um, if there's more than that, it causes a big hassle the drones start flying around and they start gunning you down. It's not a recipe for success, in my opinion. So generally, I'll stay at long range, take him out that way. Not a problem. Usually only takes like maybe a minute or two. Not hard at all. So there you go. I hope this video helped you out um, with the Murmur Drones. And let me know if it did. Let me know if you got any comments or questions in the uh, comment section. And yeah, I believe that about covers everything. I'm Penguin Overlord. Hope this guide helped, and I'll catch you all next time. Take care, guys.